We collected nearly 12 hours of audio, four and a half hours of video, and I've spent the last two weeks going over the evidence so we could have it out for you guys. Normally, ghost hunts are pretty boring, and the, the best part about it's going over the evidence. No, we all had personal experiences this time, and the evidence is pretty good. So, I have left EVPs and stuff in this video, so if you think you might see something or might be hearing something, you might actually be hearing something. Uh, there will be a second video that goes along with this for uh, a lot more of the edit evidence and audio aberrations we've collected, so keep a lookout for that and enjoy the video. Most importantly, professionalism. I'm going to stay as professional as possible. And do speak up if something happens. And I do want to say thank you for all of you being here. This is an opportunity for WASP to really get into a place like this and see what we can gather evidence-wise. Do the best that you can. We all know the paranormal works on its own time. And of course, thank you to the DeVincents for allowing us to come out as well. We really appreciate you guys giving us the opportunity and chance to really see what we can do for you guys. And hopefully it opens up doors for other investigations in the future here. We have no problem coming back out. I'm Sam. Chris. I'm Mark and I work for Gary and Mallory. I've managed their properties and I've done investigations with other teams here before. I am Bailey. And I'm Jacob. I'm Travis. I'm Monica. I'm Stephanie. Andrew. Crystal. Andrew Adams, Jay Hancock with KSL. <laughs> Perfect. And of course behind the camera is John. You must do not go more than four people in that building. So I would encourage three people and a camera person. Just because of the size of the building, you guys know how it works. Square footage, the more people in a small square footage, the less likely we're going to pick up any activity whatsoever. So I, this is a pre-investigation one that, that's got a little bit of, it helps with communication, opening the third eye and whatnot without opening yourself up too much. So it's got some grounding, some communication, um, just a little bit of kind of helping center us so that we're not getting attachments, but we're open to speaking to whatever wants to communicate with us. So it's in reverse. So oh, it's, it's in your mode. Yeah. Okay, so it's like so, here. Yeah, that's what's confusing about it. It's showing reverse, so gotcha. that's how you verify it. So tell me about yourself. What do you like about this place? Vinegar and threat. Threat's not a good word. No, threat's not a good word. And in a place like this, I'm not surprised I'm hearing that. Do you think we're a threat to you? see what year is this was this so this is 1928 did someone just whisper no no okay i'm hearing whispering just what? like i don't know side. what i said does this machine make a gurgling sound sometimes yes okay okay yeah so that's just powered off really yeah was the battery good? Batteries are recharged first thing this morning. That's a little weird. What don't you want us recording in here? All right. 
guys hear footsteps? Is someone walking in here? Riding. There's footsteps. I just heard this. Just right here. Like, okay. Is there anybody over here? Let's be silent real quick. Yeah, I, I can hear you. Woohoo, that gave me chills all of a sudden. Hold on, happened? What did it just say? Save and shake it. And all of a sudden, I just start shaking a little bit. Oh, they're ordering a drink. Yeah. Come and see if you can grab it for me. Date. What's the date of the coin? 1925? Right around Prohibition? I'm going to turn on the light for a second. See if I can grab that coin. So as you can tell, 1925. So the in the back. So the So I've heard people have been shoved in this little room right here. Do you not like them? I have some money in my hand. You should come and grab it out of my hand. Something tugged on my hoodie. Um, Am I hearing footsteps upstairs? Where's that vehicle? Somebody I just tugged on my necklace. Car. Okay. That sounds like what I was hearing. I, I thought I heard a moan, but then, yeah, when you said car, that's kind of what it sounds like to me, too. Oh. You good? Chris? I'm good. I'm good. I forgot about the step right here. Yeah, be careful. Yeah, I forgot about the step. Are you okay? That's the funny part. We got Sandra Heavy and Truck <laughs> as I stepped out. Sorry. I forgot about the stupid step. What is that? Z and Garden. Why oh, is it Garden? No, I didn't see a dart come up. But I'm noticing something. Watch this. Now it's not doing it. That's strange. Every time I pick it up and set it down, it does that. What, what's it doing? So every time I pick it up and set it down, it starts saying something. It's almost as if the machine being manipulated by hitting the ground. Maybe there's just like a, I mean, it is metal. Yeah. And maybe there's like a magnetic, magnetic might be a strong word, but some sort of charge to it or something that would like interact with the phone. Possibly. Possibly. Yeah, very possible. It's mapping something weighing on the ground. So there is a piece, if you look right here, there is a piece of styrofoam. Can we move it? See if it's. Nope, still mopping on the ground like someone's laying on the ground like something else. Let me see something real quick. I picked you up. Let's see if there's anything. <laughs> Did it say wow? It just said wow. <laughs> Table maze end. It's been a hotel. Oh, it's that. Yeah. Are they gonna turn it into another hotel? I have no idea. You don't know. I was watching our video, but right where that bathroom was, I all of a sudden kept hearing things. I couldn't quite hear what it was, but um, but then I started kind of feeling that yeah, I got, uneasy feeling. So the stairs are there. So in this yeah. corner up here, I got a. There's a bathroom. And I just got a 1.4 spike. Really? Yeah. A 1.4. Yeah. 
I think that's the highest we've had here so far. Yeah. Oh yeah, look, right here. Here's your burnt beans and everything. Really? Where did you say the fire? Where did you Look up. Oh, shit. Yep, you're right. Oh, wow. I know we're inside, but I got a spike up to 80 some degrees, and now it's dropping back down to 69. Yeah, it was warm in here. Right, right here yeah. where I'm standing. It is October 11, 2022, 10.05 p.m. Doing an EVP session in the new house basement in the old boiler room. In Helper, Utah. Yeah, Helper, Utah. Uh, this is Andrew Parks. Bailey Oram. Camera guy, John. Stephanie Cowan. Crystal Watkins. Are there any spirits here with us today that wish to communicate? Yes and no. The device is on the floor in front of us. You can use to communicate with us. The one will light up uh, from green to yellow to orange to red. The other one will record your voice if you wish to speak to us. Can you tell us how many spirits are here with us today? Are there any male spirits here with us today? Yes, I get the feeling that's who doesn't want to communicate. It almost felt like it was fighting. <laughs> like, I'm here, but I'm not talking to you. Can you tell us how long ago you lived here? Did you live in Helper, Utah your entire life? Yes. Are you sad about something? Do you know, do you know Mark? Yes. We should get Mark over here. Yeah, we should. Would you like us to bring Mark over here? Yes. Hey, could you have Mark come over here to the new house? We, we want to do an investigate or do EVP session with him. grandparents own this place uh -huh. and they and he said back here was where their house was they looked back here and they ran a restaurant up front huh. and uh, let me see um, I see the old cold coal drop for the old boiler room over there yeah. so John yep I did a one card pull just before you walked away for the one that we're speaking to uh -huh. and this is the card I pulled Hear no evil, see no evil, speak no evil. And it deals with bearing the truth. And John said, uh, I think you said, do you know Oscar? Is that what you said? Yeah. Yeah. Or the yes. And we got a yes. And then we asked if they knew Mark, and it said yes. And then we said, would you like to speak to Mark? And it said yes. So. Therefore, we called you. Okay. Yes. Yes. Hence, <laughs> you're here. So that's kind of where we're at at the moment. Okay. In a uh, three-syllable, but I couldn't quite hear it. Um, but like cornas, cornasen, cornason, cornason, corn. But three syllables. Like corazon. Corazon. Like what is that? Heart. 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 
we think down like might have heard. Yeah, that's right? what they think. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And then I heard the name like Clemens or Clemens. So I wrote I um so two syllables, right? That Clemens or Clemens, um, Clarence, but it was the C L ending in the S. So and that could have been maybe who the owners or who had the home yeah, here. Yeah. So we might have to that, but um, but those were when you were talking about the female. That's when I heard um, your grandmother's name, uh, and I picked up that. But then the the, the what is it? Cor 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 yeah. It's heart. Heart. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So that. Oh. Uh, you have rosary beads, or you have some beads of his, uh, something of, of his uh, very religious, do you understand that? His cross or something he's mentioning that you have of his. Could be lots of things. I'm, I'm wearing rosary beads right now. You are? Okay. They, they weren't necessarily his. Yeah, that's okay. Um, <clears throat> I'm, I'm very religious. I love yeah. religious icon iconography. Yeah. I have his cross in my bedroom. His cross? That they gave, like, <clears throat> they put, for Catholic services, they'll put crosses on the casket, and okay. they usually give it to a family member. But we have one for myself, my sister, and my mom. Okay. So there's three crosses on his casket, and I don't. Reflection. Directly, if you'd like to see the image on it. And content with the past. Should I be feeling heart pains? Yeah. <laughs> That's where I go. It's, mm -hmm. it's happy and sad at the same time because it's, yeah. Take some deep breaths. Do you feel like I should be your voice? I guess that's what I want to ask. Okay. Yes. It's just not a matter of <laughs> Exactly why I haven't done it. Yeah. Your dad said yes, but not to do it too soon or too fast because the backlash will be um, a lot for you. Um, <clears throat> and I just heard him say uh, to tell you he's so proud of the decision you just made. You made a big decision just recently in your life, and I'm very proud. Or it's coming here. There's a big change coming for you. So I'm very proud of whatever this is that you're about to do, or just did. Um, with, with that, so. Um, I'm gonna ask it. Did did one of you follow us over from the Kiva Club? Did both of you follow us over mm -hmm. from the Kiva Club? This one's a little heavier, so I don't. It's not as comfortable to wear when I'm not actually using it. Yeah, it looks like a lot of stairs. Oh my. Yeah. It looks like that go to the stairs at my school. What's up there? Yeah, what is up there? It's going to be apartments. Okay. Yeah. Newer. Oh. I had stuff. Mm -hmm. Some spikes coming up the steps, but once we got up here. And then it was fine. Oh, huh? and then I said something, oh. I got point five. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like 
like thin hair at all. At all. Um, is this where he got sick? Do you know if this is where? I think so. Okay. There goes your light again. So whatever, but it dropped as low as nine degrees. Looking up above. Yeah, it's an open hole right there. Temperatures will are recording too, so you can see the temperature drop too. Steady at about twenty degrees. That's strange. Stephanie, eighty-eight. I love that. <laughs> I don't like, like I said, I'm kind of a wood board. I don't get feelings a lot. Exactly. Um, but like this place gives them. Like yeah, when I came yeah. the first this time, this has got, got the stairs. That creepy factor, nine thousand. Yeah. yeah. But it's like it was like coming out of like the boiler room. Like I felt like this, like just like this uneasy feeling. But I, you know, you feel it like directionally. Uh -huh. It's like from behind. And, you know, yeah. not that like somebody can, like, I'm not feeling it now, but I was over there as we we're walking out, I was walking behind Jake and it was yeah. like this really, I just, I said, oh, like that. Cause it was like a, it was like an intense, like not just kind of like a gross, like not, not pleasant, like not happy feeling. I don't know. Yeah. I don't get those often. Yeah. As in cough, as in a like dead person's Ooh, coffin. Coffin. Okay. Interesting. Well, right, and right as soon as Ami Tufts handed me the music box that's shaped like a coffin, that's when it said coffin. Yeah, it was right over oh, right. Oh, nice. You can use the music box. What's this right here? Yeah. Like a REM pod, have four functions capture the energy, temperature, um, vibration. What else? Okay, look at these beams right here. Yeah. Look at the That's condition. Yeah. That that would look like a fire structure or something. Definitely was on fire. So Chris, when we came in here earlier, uh -huh. when we were upstairs. Um, oh, John's not here, but I, I had asked John if there was a fire, and he didn't know because I smelled smoke. Then we came down and saw where the fire had been down here. This is where we were doing all of the, um, you know, the uh, EVP session. Okay. It was right in this area. No, that, that's interesting. I have a device that I'm holding that has a red blinking light. You can use it to speak to us. What is your name? Is there anyone down here with us? What happened to it? Not really filling anything in here. No. And that's the crazy thing, isn't it? Like, yeah, for a stand when we had Mark in here, mm -hmm. that's when we got a lot of activity. They know mine. And he, yeah, they, they know mine. That's what I mean. It brought up, it they brought know up. mine. Yeah. EMF was going off. No, when you, when, when you, you were here around, around yeah. they had more activity. activity. When, yeah. yeah, that happens to me too with you. <laughs> Look at you, little ghost. Yeah, because they know you. <laughs> You're from here, so they yeah. know you. Okay. Okay. The feeling in here is decidedly different from the other building, right? Not oh, as, yeah. Not as bad. Not nearly. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know what I'm talking about. Yeah. You can, it's, it's just the sixth sense in room. Everyone has it. You just yeah. kind of yeah. got to tune into it a little bit. Yeah. <clears throat> 
Everything is working. Mm -hmm. I have turn on the music. Huh? We should put it in the boiler room. Oh yeah, that we should. We should uh, yeah. boil it. We would love to hear from you. What I like to do when I'm using the music box, I want to change the second uh, moment just for double. <coughs> work. And I like to explain to the spirits how it works because they don't know, right? So. What I like to do is show them how it works. So if you stop here in front of it, the music will play for us and you will know that you're here. We move out, we stop. So if you want to talk to us, you can just go in front of it. Like, you don't need to be close to anything. You can be like far like that. Does everyone hear me? Mm -hmm. Did you hear me? Who's there? We see you. Did you work for the railroad system? Or a miner? Is anyone moving? No, no it's like a pulley. And then there's a knock over there. Yeah. That, okay, so that is me. I'm testing the theory. The hell there, is that? I was leaning up against this, and that's when the sound started coming. So, are you trying to make your presence known by making noises? Can you do it again, please? Was somebody murdered on the property? Can you walk by the device with the blue lights? Oh, thank you. That's awesome. What would you like to say to us? Did you used to work here? Are you connected to Mark? Am I standing in front of the sensor or what's... No, it's, it's temperature. just a temperature. Could you please move over in front of the music box? Sure. Yes. It says 64.4. Second time was right here in the archway. Yeah. Second time was just right here. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, no, right here. Um, Bill, uh, you've got to have um, even um, a uh, a spirit, whether it's residual or whether it's more active. But you've got. Um, you know what? I would find out all of a sudden. I, do we know much of the history of people yet? Oh. Um, I know talking? nothing about this building. I know nothing about None the history. Yeah, Oscar. All of a sudden I heard Oscar. I'll get names very specific. So... That just gave me chills. The story is, is that very the, building, aggressive. the building was originally owned by the Greek Mafia. Oh, well that would make sense why I just heard Oscar. My hair is down straight up. So <laughs> let me... I, I, yeah, I would say, I mean, at least if anything, it's very aggressive right here. Uh, my face is starting to go red. 
um, if you go up these stairs, whatever is right above here feels to me to be very, very active. There's a microphone directly above you too. Oh, is Upstairs, there? Upstairs, yeah. Oh, well that could be at Y2. And there's one right yeah. there in the stairs itself. Oh, yeah, there, okay. And then to your yeah. right, directly down the end of the hall. Oh, sweet. Okay. Temperature-wise, we're sitting at 69 to 70 degrees. I literally, I hope we can pick this up. Um, I just heard piano playing. That was so crazy. I literally heard piano playing. down like at least three or four people downstairs yeah I'd have sworn right at least yeah. three or four yeah at first I heard people upstairs and then oh, I hope we got that I hope so too I see you this heard was, people this upstairs is recording as well. the whole time yeah you heard people upstairs as well I didn't did. you yeah it sounded like That's so weird let's go back in it's like a whole group I really thought there were a bunch of people out there yeah it sounded like everybody showed up This was here earlier on your body? See the red bump and the scratch marks? Yeah, that was there. Wait, which scratch mark? You see these stretch marks right there? A... You see those? Those were there before, right? right here. Oh, I think so. Yeah, I think those ones were there. Okay. So all that's been there before. That's yeah, kind of what I wanted to clarify. Before. Okay. Doesn't look like any other abnormalities or anything. No, okay. like I feel fine. Like all of a sudden, like now I feel fine, but it's like all of a sudden I felt like my arm was really like hot and then just felt numb. You good? Chris? I'm good, I'm good. I forgot about the step right here. Yeah, be careful. Yeah, I forgot about the step. Are you okay? That's the funny part. We got Sandra heavy and truck <laughs> as I stepped down. This is going on for a while now. It's like it's trying to kick you in the head. Oh, food just showed up again. You know what's funny? It's very bizarre. Okay, I'm not saying this because of just what happened, but I'm starting to feel a little bit of a pain in my neck on this right side, right back here. It's gone. You're more than welcome to. Okay. Yeah, so that's just powered off. Really? Yeah. 
Was the battery good? Batteries are recharged first thing this morning. That's a little weird. And the tablet was charged and finished that first thing this morning. So that is a little strange, but that's not that's not uh, uncommon. That's pretty common with batteries being drained. What don't you want us recording in here? There's footsteps. I just heard this. Just right here. So okay. Is there anybody over here? Let's be silent real quick. I'm getting footsteps. Is anyone moving? No. no one's moving. I, <clears throat> I don't think that's the thing. Is it's it? not the tarp, no. That's, that's tarp. the tarp. Hold on, I'm going to come in here. I'm here with it too. Yeah, I can hear you. Woohoo, that gave me chills all of a sudden. Oh, what happened? What did it just say? Save and shake it. And all of a sudden, I just start shaking a little bit. Oh, well, they're ordering a drink. Yeah. They want the same. ever here with us if you come up closer in the palm of my hand I have something you might be interested in to what's ever here with us if you come up closer in the palm of my hand I have something you might be interested in Well, thank you for watching our video. Uh, as always, the source files for this are available upon request. Uh, if you would like to uh, contribute anything as well, you can always leave a comment, like the video, thumbs up, subscribe, of course. And as always, thank you again for watching.